and I'm about to go and pull the anchor on my first very very solo sail from Raven heading out to my brother on one of the islands beautiful morning here nice and calm good for pulling the anchor by myself so I'll try and set this up so you can watch what I'm doing but maybe I won't find a spot for it there's early looking beautiful this morning there's my friends who are going to tag, tag along with me and look at that how beautiful it is I'll be heading out there really where to put this thing. Might just have to um, imagine me pulling that anchor out, out there. <laughs> I'll talk to you again when I'm underway. I'm underway, got that anchor up and heading out past Pioneer Point. There behind me, I'll just turn it around so you can see it. There's my friends back there on the Starship coming along with me. Lovely to have them coming. Beautiful, beautiful day. I'd say we'll get a bit of breeze when we get out there a little bit. Get a sail out. Gorgeous day. Talk to you soon. Well, we're sailing. Not very fast, but beautiful, beautiful day. Pretty excited. This is my first true solo on this boat. No one on here but me. Pretty excited about this. I've got to show you my sail. the main sail and the head stall at the moment. Get out the bay and we put the stay sail out of well I think. Look at that. Beautiful. There's Starship back there. Early beach. Nine knots. Nine knots happening here. Okay. And we're doing only just three knots at the moment. The tide's against us till it turns. Oh, I love that sight. <laughs> that noise you can hear is my little generator. Keep my batteries topped up. Solar on this road. Let's turn that on. Oh, wow! Look at this. <laughs> Ain't that just a beautiful sight? Doing about four knots. Just sails, no motor. Oh, so beautiful. Old <laughs> uh, Starships decide to put a sail up. <laughs> the race is on, Starship. <laughs> Thank you. 
just want to share this morning with you. Beautiful here. Tinker, my brother's boat. Hear the birds. And there's Starship. Just us in this bay. So beautiful. Great day. <laughs> I look a bit bleak. I didn't sleep much last night. <laughs> the breeze is picking up here a little bit. Just on the anchor here with my brother. Just come out, just been doing a little job today. I'll show you what I'm doing. block here which is a bit high in the air and down through this channel in my dodger and it's been lifting up and ripping up and stitching up my dodger. So I've just got this high here to hold it down on the deck and I'm putting that on now and see how we go. I should hold it down and then I'll have to stitch my dodger up. <laughs> so I also have new sheets which are much better diameter, a little bit thinner, and they'll go in my winch better. So I'll show you the finished product in a minute. Beautiful day out here. It's been very um, still today. The wind's just picking up a little bit, about nine knots. It keeps picking up. We're going to go and anchor over the other side. Well, I've got one of my um, sides done and then I broke a drill on the other side and then before I could borrow one off my brother, the wind came up, so we pulled anchor and heading somewhere else and I've got my little stay sail out and that eye is perfect for keeping that sheet in the right place. There she is. Coming through there at a good angle. Just going across the bay, going about 12 knots, and we're doing about 4 knots with that sail. I haven't got the engine off though. Not going far, just going over in the shelter of that island over there. <laughs> 
want to show you a little project I'm doing today. Got a few little things done, but I want to show you the difference. Hopefully there's a difference. <laughs> Okay, so I we'll have this Feast Watson's teak cleaner here and just started applying it with this bristle brush. So there's the before and the after. It's already starting to look a bit different. So I'm supposed to put this on if I... 20 minutes and keep it damp and then I've got to rinse it off with fresh water and then I think I'm just going to oil this so this is the floor of my cockpit So this mixture is diluted one part, four parts water. Be interesting to see how it turns out. It's hard to do this without stepping somewhere on it. Look at this beautiful place and show you what else I've done today. Beautiful, beautiful wet Sunday. really good this is going to help me when I'm out here on my own so instead of having to get this ring for this reef down over that hook there which is a real pain now I have this line going up through here and down the other side and tied to this hook so I can actually pull this down now help me reef which is fabulous and I'm going to do one with the second reef as well.
last little supplies before heading south. Flying about eight, nine knots. Beautiful, beautiful morning. Nice and <laughs> Jenny up. I'll throttle back soon and see how we go. We're doing five knots. It's not very much wind. That's where we came out of there. Well, where I came out of. I'm solo at the moment, so. Yeah, waiting for my brother to follow. So I'm just waiting for that to dry out properly and I think I'm going to varnish that. I was going to oil it but I'm sort of debating back and forth, varnish or oil. <laughs> what do you reckon? It's raining in Early Beach <laughs> after a stinging hot morning. <laughs> Uh, and I just got back here in time to shut my windows. So much for all the job that I was going to do today. <laughs> Nice bit of a cool down. Well, my last minute jobs this morning dragged out a bit too long, so I'm still here and I'm not going anywhere now. It's blowing 15 knots from the north which has put a bit of swell here early. Had 30 metres of chain out in, what, 12 feet of water, so thought that was plenty enough, but I started just dragging a little tiny bit, so I've just put another 10 metres out, plus another 10 metres of angel weight behind my snubber to hold it down low. And she's pulled up now. This little cute little boat across the way in the meantime is in a completely different spot from where it was and three guys sitting up there I think they've got it under control I'm not going ashore now I'm supposed to be going ashore and having um, a birthday cake with my brother but I ain't going anywhere there's this little black boat over there cute little thing it is yeah so it was that's where it is now it was right up here this morning. The well, last time I looked about an hour or more ago, it was up there. Now she's back there. But it seems to have come to a standstill, so maybe they put some more chain out as well. Yeah, so I'm not going to shore in that tender. It was a bit hairy when it was less swell than this, because I've got a little bit too much engine on the back of that. No, I don't want to get a wave over the back end. <laughs> so, looks like probably tomorrow for me heading out of here. It'd be nice to be round the corner, out of the swell, but I'm not. <laughs> anyway, if it gets too bad, I'll up anchor and go despite. Catamarans heading out. Had enough of this roller catamarans, 
used to rolling. <laughs> they get on the side and they get a bit of a roll up. At least with this mono it stays pointed to the swell. It's pretty good. and I'm heading south tomorrow I reckon so what do you do when you can't go to shore for birthday cake <laughs> do another little job which I've been looking forward to doing I've been waiting for this to dry out long enough and we've had a very hot dry out kind of day today so have a look look at that First coat of varnish on this floor that I cleaned the other day with Feast Watson's Teak Cleaner. And today, what have I put on today? Oh, there we go, Nor Glass Weatherfast Polyclear Satin. It's looking beautiful. That's the first coat. I'm glad I went that way, it's going to look really nice. Still a bit rolly out here. When the tide goes the other way it might calm down a bit because we've got wind over tide at the moment. Poor little tender bouncing around out here. Black boat's gone. Don't know where he went, but he got out of here. <laughs> All right, now I've got to find another job. Ah, oh, my next job. I'm going to do the washing. So now I'm just going to leave you with some slideshow of that wonderful time I had out there with my family, my brother and his little kids. I was particularly happy that week because I just met Greg and I was full of happy thoughts and dreams of what might be. This was what I thought would be my last time with my brother and his family. I headed back to Early Beach. I was going to be leaving and going south. This is my last shots of that beautiful place, as I thought. 